This week on WDD's Hotspot, a new Kickstarter campaign that I do not agree with is helping consumers stay motivated and achieve their goals. KSafe is a smart, connected, lockable safe that only opens when your goals have been achieved. Here's how it works. You play something you enjoy in KSafe. Maybe it's game controllers, your favorite snack, or your collection of TV remotes. Set a goal using the KSafe app. The goals can be distance, steps, time, or location based. KSafe will only unlock when you've reached your goal. You can change the goal to make it more difficult before you reach it, but you can never lower the bar, and of course, no overrides. Which is stupid, because people change their minds. <laughs> the app tracks your current progress and lets you review your past goals so you can see how far you've come. I mean, this is great for me to put my fiance's video controllers in an iPhone when it's some fantasy sports season to get some attention, but not for my cookies. When I want a cookie, I'm going to eat a cookie. If you want to lose weight, then don't eat a cookie. German company Festo has recently revealed three more biomimetic creations. A small colony of ants, a gripper modeled on a chameleon's tongue, and butterflies. The bionic ants not only mimic the delicate anatomy of the natural ant, but they also mimic the cooperative behavior of them. The bionic ants communicate with each other and coordinate their actions and movements among each other. The artificial ants thus demonstrate how autonomous individual components can solve a complex task together working as an overall network system. The chameleon is able to catch a variety of different insects by putting its tongue over the respective prey and securely enclosing it. The flex-shaped gripper uses this principle to grip the widest range of objects in a form-fitting manner. Using its elastic silicone cap, it even can pick up several objects in a single gripping process and put them down together without the need for a manual conversion. The flight of the e-motion butterflies is coordinated by indoor GPS with infrared cameras. 10 cameras installed in the room record the butterflies using their infrared markers. The cameras transmit the position data to a central master computer, which coordinates the butterflies from outside. The intelligent networking system creates a guidance and monitoring system, which could be used in the networked factory of the future. If you want to know more information about Festo's creations, click on the links below. Technologists Megan Athavale and Curtis Wax have developed an interactive motion-sensitive exhibit, LUMO, which can be projected onto a wall or floor. Built on the Android platform, LUMO transforms any room into an interactive play space from simple, beautiful effects like rippling ponds full of fish to games like Pong, air hockey, ballerina dance, greedy gators, toy apocalypse, dance or die, grow and collect the bling. <laughs> I want to play every single one of those. LUMO gives kids amazing game experiences in the real world. I feel like the air hockey would get pretty intense just because it's hockey. So there might be some like real body checking going on there, which might be a safety issue. <laughs> but visit the links below for more information on this Indiegogo campaign. And finally, it's never a good feeling realizing you've ran out of something at the moment you need it. Little up. Little up. No, 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 please, man. So Amazon is offering the new Amazon Dash button, a small device that consumers can stick to walls or a variety of household appliances. By using the Amazon app on a smartphone, consumers can easily connect to their home Wi-Fi networks and select the product they want to reorder with the Dash button. Once connected, a single press automatically places an order. Amazon sends an order alert to your phone, so it's easy to cancel if you change your mind. Unless you elect otherwise, Dash Button responds only to your first press until your order is delivered. Where the hell was this button when I was pregnant? I mean, I wanted ice cream and chocolate all the time. If I could have just sat on my couch and pushed a button and voila, it showed up, like that would have been a huge, huge lifesaver. Just saying. Well, that's all for this week. For more exclusive news, visit wirelessdesignmag.com. Be sure to check us out on Twitter and Facebook pages as well. And feel free to drop me a line at megan.zimba at advantagemedia.com. For WDD, I'm Megan Zimba, and I'll see you next time in the hotspot. Nice. So yeah.
Let's go. Let's go to the bed, please. Now. Stop it. <laughs>